guys, so I got a huge box of Max, goodie, Max Mac goodies today, and I figured that instead of letting it sit around like I usually do when Max sends me stuff um, to show you guys, I thought that I'd just go ahead and show you, kind of like an open box video, um, because usually I end up waiting around and, you know, by then the collection's already out and I don't want to show things that aren't available anymore, and I'm very, you know, I very much like to test things and kind of review them and not just show you things, but I'm going to go the other route in this video and just show you things because I want to show you guys all this stuff and um, just kind of let you guys see my first impressions too because I kind of like that. I think I, I think it would just help. So first, there there are four collections first of all, this is insane. Um, Trey Chic blush collection, uh, Prime Future collection of something. Primer, um, yes, primer, I'm thinking. Or, so, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll discover this together. Uh, Real Sexy, which looks like a lot of fun stuff, which seems kind of like the color color. Yeah. And then um, MAC and Extra Dimension, which to me looks like skin finishes and eyeshadows that look different. They say they're Extra Dimension. So we're just going to go ahead and jump on in and start with these. Just to let you know, the MAC Real Sexy says it's available from the 5th through May 24th. And then the Extra Dimension says April 5th through May 24th. The Tray Chic says April 5th through May 3rd. And the Primetime says it's available April 5th and it's going to be in the permanent collection. Real Sexy. Um, gotta take all of them out of the box. Alright, so I unboxed all of them. And this collection seems like, obviously, it's inspired. It's called, um, what's it called? Real Sexy. And... Um, it seems to be like all the names as I was taking them out of the boxes are inspired by like cinematic things, like cinematic terms or like, you know, movie things. And um, I don't know, it's kind of cute. The colors are fun. Very kind of like, very springy. Um, so first, I'll show you the lip colors. Heroin, which is, it says it's a matte color. Ooh, it's a really pretty purple. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Really nice. See, I like this. This is fun. Um, pink popcorn. See, this is exciting because you get to see, like, my first... That's totally not what I thought it would look like, but... It's not pink. It's kind of like a pink orchid color. Well, it is kind of, I guess, like a pinky purple. Sheer. Um, Watch Me Simmer. That's exactly what I thought it would look like. Because it looks like that color called Simmer, or Gentle Simmer, that they had. Um, really pretty. And Real Sexy... Oh my gosh, I love, 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 love all of those lip colors. Oh my gosh. Um, the Cream Sheen Glass, star quality. This one is pretty. Should I swatch all these? I am going to swatch these on my blog. So, but you can see just how intense. Um, when the video goes up, I will have the swatches on my blog too. Um, this one's just very sheer. It's called Private Screening. Right there. This one is called Cine Style, which is like a weird purple, but I kind of like weird things from time to time. Really purple. Um, and then Color Saturation, which is like a burgundy. Ooh, that's pretty. Really nice. The last one. Sure, you guys are wondering what this purple looks like on your lips. Let me just read your mind because I'm wondering that as well. Wow, it really kind of looks purple. Hmm. Not like obnoxious purple. And who knows, maybe you can't even tell, but I can definitely see it. Okay, um, eyeshadow. Oh, well, let me show you the nail colors first. Uh, screening room. I like this deep turquoise. That's pretty. We all know how I feel about my nail polishes, though. In the dark purple, which this doesn't really look like a dark purple. It's just... Well, not dark purple to me, but I like that a lot. And Vivid Effect. That's a really pretty bright corally pink color. Um, two eyeliners I got, um, although I'm sure there's more in the collection. Two eye coals. This one's Heirloom. Really pretty silver, which I'm sure... I just did it on its side so you could really see how... It's like a silvery um, purple, and oh, this is pretty. Hyacinth. That's nice. It's like a really nice midnight blue. I'm definitely going to use this one. I love that color. And then 
um, two duos. This is Dynamic Duo 4, and it's just two very kind of, you know, purples. This one's like a pink, and this one is like a purple. Ooh, that's really pigmented. 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 And then, this one is Dynamic Duo 1, and it's got a really pretty, like, um, corally gold and pink. And then this color that, that honestly looks like this nail polish. Cute. Um, I like that color a lot. Let me wipe off this finger. Yeah, it's clean. And then that... Not super pigmented. I had to rub it a couple times to see it. But yeah, I guess it is once you put it on. It's really pretty. So I, I do like this combo, especially this Dynamic Duo 1. I like that better than... The purple's nice, but I, I do like this. This is actually a really good dark purple. Really good. It reminds me of that Graphology color that no one could ever find when I did that Hayden Panettiere tutorial that like went crazy and got a ton of views and... Thus, I got like literally a million emails, not literally, but I got a lot of emails asking about where they could find that color. So, look at all these fun colors. That is a really pretty collection. I love it. That real sexy collection is real nice. So, I'm going to do all these swatches over again <laughs> and um, for pictures for my blog. And the link to that will be below, as always, because I know I'm, I'm trying to run through these fast. I know this video is at least going to be like... I'm sure this video is going to be really long. So let's just go ahead and start with the extra dimension stuff. This stuff looks really frosted, like, first of all. Everything... Okay, let me just... Okay, so this is the three um, skin finishes. They're called extra dimension skin finishes. This one's called Whisper of Guilt, which looks like a champagne -y gold. This one is called Glorify, which is like an orangey gold. And this one is called Superb, which is like a pinky champagne gold. And I'm just going to show you. These are really, really frosted. Um, but when I'm putting, when I'm swatching them, the frost doesn't look, I mean it is frosted, but it's not like, you know, when you really just get it on your finger, it's not like that sort of frost. But yeah, it's not as, it's not as scary, because that is, that frost is kind of scary, but it's not as scary when you swatch it. Um, this one, the Glorify is like, I don't even know what you do with that. Like, look how orange. But it might be nice um, on darker skin tones, but that is orange. Like, orange, orange. And the Whisper of Guilt is like, like a yellow gold, but it's really, like, light, so. Um, but yeah, this, usually I don't like a lot of shimmer on my face or um, frost, so. I don't know, those seem a little tricky to me. Um, these eyeshadows are really pretty. Especially this color. I'm a sucker for black shades. But Dark Dare, um, Lunar, which is a blue. Uh, Modern Pewter, which is exactly what it says, but it looks a little greenish. Um, Rich Core, like a burgundy. And Warm Thunder, which is like a silver. But it's a blue silver. So I don't know why it's called Warm Thunder. But we'll just go with it. Um, it's very grayish blue, and honestly, these, um, these seem really nice. As far as, like, how the pigmentation is, they're very pigmented. Um, when I put them on, they're not as frost, I mean, they're frosted, but they're not, like, crazy frosted, and I feel like this product would last a long time because it has, like, this little wave design that sticks up, which, I mean, it would take a long time just to get through that. So, I feel like for the money... If you really like the product, you would be able to use it for quite a long time. The Lunar is... Ooh, that's really pretty. It's a really nice blue. Um, I don't know. I just... I think these are nice. This is kind of fun. Face ones are just throwing me off, though. Yeah, this Modern Pewter is definitely almost like an olive to me under the under my lights. It's looking olive -y. This one is neat because it's black, but it doesn't really look frosted. It's, like, deep and gorgeous. And this may be one of my new favorite things. I can tell just by, holy crap, I can come look. Look at how, oh my gosh. I'm really excited about this. It's really not like, I mean, there's a little bit of like, looks like it might have a little bit of sheen to it, but it really doesn't look like that on the skin. Yay, I love dark black shades, especially ones that are like, 
crazy pigmented like that. So I don't know, that's an interesting collection. The eyeshadows, I think the formula is really nice, and I like the little design on the eyeshadows. The, the face things, I'm just not sure about. Um, Alright, and then Trey Chic. I have three blushes from that. There's Trey Chic, I guess, is how it's spelled. Um, ooh, this is pretty. Moder Modern Mandarin. I only have three, so I'll just open the boxes as I go. Um, that is really pretty. It's a really nice orange. But, I mean, obviously this is not how it's going to look on your face. Kind of sheared out a little bit. And it's a really nice corally color. Not even coral. I mean, that's pretty orange. Um, this one is called Love Cloud, which looks like a really nice pink. I think this is going to be one of my new favorites that I use a lot. Ooh, this is pretty. I honestly haven't been excited about MAC stuff in a while, and these colors and like the formula and stuff seem really nice. So, yay MAC. Um, Peony, Peony Petal, I can never pronounce that. Peony Petal. It never sounds right when I say it. This one is, um, this is more like a warm, like, yellowish, this is more like a yellowish pink, the first one, the Love Cloud that I showed. This one's more of a blue pink, um, and that is really cool as well. Where'd you put it? Really nice. Really not a huge difference when you swatch the two pinks. That's the one I just did. That's, I don't know, it's hard to tell on your hands with, like, the veins and stuff, and it's hard to show my arm, so, well, again, check it out on the blog, and you can see more of the differences there. But yeah, these colors just make me happy seeing them together. Those are really pretty spring color. And the two items that I have from the MAC Prime Future collection seems to be like a um, addition to their Prep and Prime line. Um, this one, let's see what this says. It says Skin Smoother. It's in a compact. Oh my gosh, it's a bomb. It's a bomb for your skin. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Okay, so this is funny. This is why it's funny to do videos like this. Feels really good. It's not like um, one of those mattifying ones that feels like when you apply it, it like fills in your pores or anything. And I would use this with a sponge, I'm sure. It feels like kind of like how the Smashbox photo finish feels on your skin, like really silicone-y. That's what it feels like, but it's really nice. I like that. Um, I don't know. I'm curious to see how that will hold up on my skin or if it will break me out or what it will do. And then this one is the Moisture Infusion Serum. I like the bottle. It's really fun. I love all like, the shimmer to the Prep and Prime stuff. So I guess this is just use on the other hand so I can really tell what it feels like. I guess it's like a, instead of using like a, he a heavy primer, you could use this. It is very thin and it kind of has like an alcohol smell to it. Oh my gosh, you know what this reminds me of? Do you remember the Shiseido um, oil-free like oil control stuff that I used to use in the glass bottle? That's, this smells exactly like it. And it feels a lot like it too. Um, so maybe if you can't do like heavier primers, uh, you could use this. It has just a little bit of moisture, but it already feels clean. Like it feels like nothing on my skin, but it feels like my skin is softer, but it doesn't feel oily. So that's really neat, and I'm glad that those are the products that I got from that because those seem really exciting. Or maybe those are the only two products in the collection. Like I said, I don't know anything about it because I just opened the box. So I guess I could look at the little flyers that came with it. But see, so those products are available. Uh, especially by the time I put this video up, they will be available. Uh, so check it out. Hopefully if um, maybe you saw some things that you wouldn't have looked for otherwise, uh, which is the whole point of this. And um, yeah, so I hope that you guys will check those out. It looks like some really good stuff. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.